guys, welcome back. I'm here with Emily, Emily Hated Fitness today, or Instagram at ehfitness21. Yes. Uh, we're doing a collab today here at Gold's Gym in Venice, and we're doing a top 10 things that we wish we knew when we first started our fitness journey. If you haven't already checked out Emily's YouTube channel, the first five things that we uh, say for our top 10 tips when we, when we first started, those are gonna be on her channel, and then here we're gonna do six through 10. So, stay tuned. Okay, so the tip number six uh, that we wish we knew is that competing is expensive. Um, even like living the fitness lifestyle, you have to get a gym membership and then if you do actually want to compete, you're going to have to be paying for a coach, you're going to be paying for a suit, you're going to be paying for shoes, you're going to be paying for tanning, probably hair and makeup, entry fees, um, money for a fee for like paying to be in whichever organization you choose to compete in. Probably a lot more things you won't even be thinking about grocery Your bill is going to go up. Yeah. Um, so if you do plan to compete, I would think about it very hard before you do, and just plan like probably going to be spending around a thousand dollars if you're going to be competing in a show, just to like give you guys a heads up. Anything you want to add to that? Um, you pretty much covered it all, but just make sure, like like she said, just budget it all out. That way, it's not some big surprise. Don't ever. Don't ever make yourself uncomfortably uncomfortable financially for a show. There's Absolutely. gonna be more shows, so don't freak out. If you don't have the money right now, save up, build your budget, and then go in with it and comfortably spend your money and do what you love. Absolutely. Okay, so tip number seven. Seven, this is annoying, <laughs> whatever. Um, be curious, so ask people questions. Don't be afraid to ask people questions. Um, me and Emily answer emails all the time. People just asking us questions just because they're interested and want to know and we're absolutely happy to answer because we love when people really want to learn. But also ask why, especially if you're hiring a coach or anything like that. Um, ask them questions before you hire them because there's a lot of people that kind of fall victim to the poor coaching. Um, people that just like kind of steal your money and toss out cookie cutter programs. So ask people questions why not everybody in the gym or everybody who gives you advice is going to have the correct advice. So if they can't explain why, then I would go look it up for yourself. And especially I have a lot of girls email me and say, oh, there's this trainer guy at my gym. And just because he's at the gym wearing a trainer shirt, they kind of take what he says as gold. And it's the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard in my life. Um, I could, I would shock you with some of the things that I've heard. Oh my so, God. you know, just like she said, really just listen to what they have to say and then kind of do your own research on it. And like she said, don't just ask the what or how, ask the why. Tip number <laughs> Tip number four. eight. Oh yeah, there you go. Four plus four. <laughs> um, form is greater, or form is more important than lifting heavy as you possibly can. There is absolutely a time and place for heavy lifting. Um, I think strength and hypertrophy combined in your program is going to yield the best results. So yes, there is a place for heavy lifting and strength, but. If your form isn't proper to begin with, then you're just gonna like have the chance to injure yourself. And when your form is correct as well, you're actually focusing on the muscle that you're using. So for example, um, I see like a lot of people doing things like lateral raises with a girl our size using like 20, 25, 30 pound dumbbells. And then they're like swinging, like swinging crazy. it like a monkey and they look kind of dumb only because you're using your traps, you're using your whole entire body to move that when you really just want to focus on your delt the whole time. So um, I wish someone told me that before yeah. because you kind of just like get an ego at the gym and then you feel stupid using five pound weights but sometimes those have like a purpose if you're just really trying to contract the muscle. So And kind of just to add on that, you know, mind muscle connection is everything. So chances are at that really, really heavy weight when you're just kind of swinging it around, you're not getting very good mind muscle connection. Not at all. So if you're getting mind muscle connection at the five pound weights, at the 2.5 pound weights, then you go girl. I did 2.5 pound weights yesterday and I See? Burn, burn. If you're doing it right, then the light weights will feel heavy. Tip number nine. Yeah, tip number nine. Um, cardio and abs, they're not gonna get it's you. not the way to do it. No, um, I, that's like the number one thing that I see females doing at the gym. They'll go on the cardio machine for an hour and then they'll do abs for 10 minutes after and then like that's it. Um, because they think that they need to lose fat and like lose fat on their stomach So they think that they need to do abs to lose the fat on their stomach And they think they need to do cardio to like lose fat overall and no one really thinks about lifting weights And I like want 
want to just tell them like go get in the gym girl even though it's kind of like scary and intimidating like go do some research and like figure that part out because that's actually what's going to change your body and not cardio and abs only sure you can incorporate them absolutely do both and incorporate them into your routine but that should not be the focus of your routine it should be a supplement to your routine and just you know to add on that make sure that you realize there's no spot reducing so if you want your abs to show you can't do one thing just to get the body fat off of your stomach your body loses fat all over so just focus on getting everything on point your nutrition your your lifting your exercise and your cardio and focus on the main things first so if your exercise and your nutrition aren't on point then you're not gonna have you shouldn't be worrying about what supplements you should be exactly. taking so things like that so focus on those two things first and foremost at least tip number 10 I can do this easily without having to think about it now um, tip number 10 is that they're uh, starting your fitness journey may seem scary because you're probably the outcast of like your friend group if you're the only person doing it that's what how I felt in college I was pretty much the only person that I knew that was really really passionate about fitness I would skip going out on the weekend so I can get a good workout in on Saturday morning and it might seem like kind of lonely at times but you will you will find people who have the same mindset as you it took us forever to find each other we've all <laughs> been lifting for forever and um, like sure we both have like friends that work out and stuff like that but like you don't think that just because not everybody's doing it that you're totally alone and um, nobody else has the same mindset as you. That's what's a good thing about social media is too. You meet so many cool people you can connect. who connect. Yeah, who, who do the same things as you do. So don't think that you're the only one doing it. Don't let that scare you and just do it anyway if it makes you happy. Yeah, and also with your friends and family, a lot of people, you know, say my, my family doesn't get it, my parents don't get it. That's okay. The people who really love you, they're going to support you even if they don't necessarily get it at first. So true. But after a while, they're going to get used to it. For example, my family knows that when I'm coming in town, Emily's either bringing her meals oh my God. or she has her skill with her. Everybody knows that in my family too. All of my friends already know that. So after a while, um, people the adjust. People, yeah, the people that you already love are going to get used to it and be fine with it if they already love you and they're true supporters of you. And you can meet plenty of people through this lifestyle too that do the same thing as you. So, so when you forget your skill, Amanda has hers. <laughs> or when you like forget your peanut butter or pre-workout. Or you need Polly Mash and has some extra on her. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, go subscribe to Emily's channel if you haven't already. She has the first five tips on there. It's youtube.com slash Emily Hayden Fitness. Yes, ma'am. Right? And like and subscribe um, to this video and to my channel if you haven't already. Thumbs if you up. liked this video and you want to see more um, videos like this and collabs from us, because we'll totally do that for you guys. I guess we'll hang out again. Yeah, maybe we will. Whatever. <laughs> it's just, it's not too so bad. This chick sucks. <laughs> just kidding. <It's> so annoying. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching.